Yes, it is a cold, cold morning, but it's reality testing. We're out on a course. Lewis is with us, average golf pro, and we're going to be testing the Maverick hybrids. Looking forward to this one. Warmed up, Lou? Yeah, looking forward to it. Let's get going. Great strike. start this one off with your feedback in terms of how they look but uh, first of all just to say like we said in the intro really max pro and standard you've got in front of you now you've got the the max and the pro i've got the max and the pro and the first big thing is the pro says 23 yeah and the max says 20 that's a four isn't it you've got in your yeah, hands so i've got the four in both but there's three degrees of difference so that's one thing that i would, you know, we'd always say is uh check your you don't just go straight for the four hybrid, you know, depending Expecting. on which one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, the, other, the other thing, can I just interrupt one more thing? On the Max itself, the Max goes from a three hybrid all the way to an eight hybrid. An eight? So I think what the expectancy is, I know we're doing Max Science today as well, I think they're expecting a lot of blended sets where you're going yeah. to see that Max Absolutely. hybrid. If you're bringing out an eight hybrid, you're thinking someone's going eight hybrid and then maybe eight, nine wedge or yeah, nine yeah. wedge. Yeah. yeah, it's a very much a change in the way I think clubs are going to be set up in the next few years. Yeah. In terms of looks, how do these two differ? We've, I've brought opposite end of the spectrum. We've, we haven't brought the standard. We've got Max and Pro. Yeah. How do they differ, Lou? Uh, visually, visually for me, uh, you know, there is a difference, but neither would be more or less appealing in terms of top line or how they Yeah, do. yeah. The one big thing was, I think the Pro, and we, we'd have to check this, I think the Pro is a slightly flatter lie angle. And, yeah. You know, as a better player, the one, the one reason why I always shied away from hybrids would be, you know, I think they sit a bit upright for me. I, you know, I, I fear the left. You know, yeah. I do hit some lefts with hybrids. Whereas this pro, we've just hit a couple of shots coming down, haven't we? So yeah. one more. Um, when I hit this, I love it. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I'm not a hybrid player. I think I think that hybrid, the pro, has got the sort of much more. Um, it is a much more sleeker. It's a lower profile. Even stood behind a camera when I was looking back here, they look totally different in yeah. terms of. If you look at the height yeah. of the club it's face... It's confidence-inspiring. Yeah, it's massively yeah, yeah, different. Yeah. That's got that much more bulbous um, toe end as well. So they're, yeah. they're very much different, yeah. but aimed at different players. That's it. Is this a ball with a pro, Lou? That's, a, that's the third shot I've seen it with a pro, and it's the same ball flight. Yeah. Yeah, I love the way you know it cuts through the turf a lot better than most hybrids as well. Yeah, you know, it really does feel as though I've got a lot more control uh, over it, which is what you want, isn't it? The one thing for me noticeable, and again you just made reference to it, is the, and it's a strange one, is the loft on this is 20, the loft on the Pro is 23 for the 4 hybrid, but the ball flights are totally different. Yeah. And, and what I mean by that is the 20 degree ball flight is far higher than that of the 23. 100% yeah. So it just goes to show again, lofts at the minute mean absolutely nothing. Ball flight is very much dictated I think due to where CG placement is. And what you're looking to do in terms of that CG balance and spin. And every ball I've hit with this four hybrid, I like the ball flight. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I really like it. It's a much higher ball flight. That other hybrid, 23, three degrees stronger, is a much more penetrating ball flight. Really interesting. Right, as ever, I like your input into this. You've seen how they look. Uh, you've had a bit of feedback from yourself and Lewis. But what do you think? What do you think in terms of looks? What do you think in terms of the price point? Is this too high again? Callaway have pitched these in. It's a relatively expensive club, but pretty much the norm at the moment. But like I said, comments from you. What do you think in terms of looks and in terms of price point?
Right, a great position on the uh, ladies' tee on the 17th at Hollywell to give you an overall assessment. Um, for me, I'll start off with my opinion on this one. Um, real difference in terms of shapes. I think that's going to be a very much a personal thing in terms of what you like to see at a dress. That's a big decision uh, in this choice. I think for me, again, I prefer the sleeker looks of the Max uh, of the Pro, Pro yeah. but got far better consistent performance out of the Max. So once again, something that is aimed at me was definitely more suited to me. I actually preferred the ball flight, and for the types of shots that I would be looking to play with a hybrid, I preferred that higher ball flight. Over to you, Lou. Me, <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I have to say, I wouldn't play the normal, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Max there. Yeah. Um, Similar reason why I don't play a hybrid at the moment. I think the pro, if we, Joe, whether I put it in the bag or not, it is a it is irrelevant. I think it's a great club. Yeah. You know, I think for the the, the single figure players out there, you know, um, go and give it a go. If you you know if you don't play hybrids or you've always thought no, they're not for me, this would be one that would. Um, I think. I think that's a better. I, yeah. I think that's a really good point. It's for the people that would not normally, for the, all the reasons you wouldn't choose to play a hybrid. Yeah. This probably addresses them. I think yeah. it's a really good answer. That the one thing I'm going to throw to the mix. I brought another club out today to test. We didn't actually test it and put it head to head, but I had the four epic flash to hand. And the one thing I'll say is that yet again, the only thing I would struggle with, particularly with the kind of like the the standard and the max product. They're so similar to the Epic Flash, apart from having that adjustability. That's the real issue that you'd probably have in terms of, yet again, the criticism in terms of product releases, because it is so. these products are so, so yeah. similar. The Pro is different, yeah. but they are so similar, it's untrue. Yeah. Well, and when you, when you put them down, everything about them is... I didn't know which was which before, to be honest. Exactly, when I just picked yeah. them up from the ground, I didn't know which club was which. So again, a slight criticism in terms of the amount of product that's released, because the Epic Flash was a real good hybrid, in my opinion, in terms of performance. Does the Maverick Max and Standard do anything different? No, it doesn't, apart from that adjustability. Yeah. So that's do the run, only downside. They run parallel, don't they? And, uh, they, are they do. Very similar. Anyway, that's it. We are finished. So, you've seen this review. Don't forget to check out the Maverick Iron Review. And the other video that we're filming today is our little trip up to Hollywell Golf Club. And uh, it's a quirky place, this one.